Hey, hey, hot tubbers. Welcome to the podcast Tub Talk with the Hot Tub Lady. And today we got a super, super special guest. He's a good friend of mine. His name is Scott Iverson from Watkins Wellness. And he is one of the best spoken guests that I, I know I'm going to have on here. And he's going to just tell us some really amazing benefits about hot tubs today. Yeah. And I couldn't be more excited to have him on. But we are going to bring Scott on now. And let's get maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe. There you are. Hey, Jackie. Thanks so much. Great to see you. My goodness, what an amazing studio, lady. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's uh, I have fun in it. It's uh, it's a tiny, tiny little closet. If anybody could see how small it really was, they would be be blown away by it. But it's uh, it literally is. is a storage closet that I painted blue. Um, Come in, lady. <laughs> But absolutely love it. How are you? You know what? I'm very well. And I think I need to disclose this right up front. I am vying to be your number one fan. And so I made my own logo and made my own poster. So we love the notice the emphasis on the word the Jackie. You oh my gosh. That's great, Scott. <laughs> that is fantastic. I absolutely love it. So that is awesome. I actually would like that to hang in here when you're we oh, have that's to awesome. that out. I'd love to send it to you. Yeah. So that's absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. So, well, Scott, why don't you just tell us a little bit who you are, how you got here, what's, uh, I know you've been in hot tubs forever, and let's just kind of get yeah. a little bit of your history. Well, let's get this out of the way right up to begin with. Those of us who've been in this business for now, I've been in close to 36, 37 years. None of us thought we'd ever be in it for a long time. Right. Uh, we thought we were just passing through, Jackie. But uh, gosh, as a, as a, as a college-age kid trying to hustle my way to pay my bills, I uh, was fortunate, blessed to meet a fellow uh, providing hot tubs for people's backyards. And I got to tell you, this guy... He changed my world. I, I, I didn't know it at the time, Jackie, but it opened the door after managing a store at retail and then eventually fortunate to work with Watkins Wellness for the last 34 years. Uh, it's just been a very special business with special people uh, like you, right? That uh, no one leaves. They come, they stay. They do. You, it's, I, and I tell that to people. I'm like, yeah, you think you're going to leave. You never get out of the industry. Once, once you you're call in, you're in. Mafia. Yeah. Yes. Well, once you're in, you're in for sure. And, you know, mm -hmm. Scott, I met you, gosh, I bet it was pretty close to 30 years ago. It's. Yeah. I remember when, Jackie, it was actually in Chicago. It was. We were at an event. I remember very clearly my, my role with the company is I get to work with sales professionals, North America for sure, but internationally as well. And Jackie, I remember meeting you and uh, knowing, okay, she's got some fire to her. Little did we know you'd become, <laughs> you'd become a brand unto itself. Uh, well, I, that wasn't my plans at the time either. When when no. <laughs> when I first met you, it actually never was my plans. But here I am, and yeah. but it, it is so thanks cool, to huh? people like you who have. I mean, you guys have just trained and in, inspired me, and you make yeah. such an awesome product, and you have such a quality education program, and everything that well, Watkins does has made me want to make everybody's lives better, and nobody does it better than you. Jackie, but but you just said something really important. That just you said you, you you makes you want to make people's lives better. Can I tell you a quick story? This is actually an embarrassing story. Back back when I started with Watkins Wellness, see my heart, my head was still not settled, Jackie. That I was really in the hot tub business, just like you said. I didn't know what my plan was. I came to this meeting. I remember it's a little bit. What's going on here, right? These hot tub folks, and I remember my very first. A uh, month on the job as a regional sales manager, I managed five states for Watkins Wellness. And Jackie, I was on the plane flying to uh, Alaska, and a, a guy turns to me and asks me, "So, what, what what line of work are you in?" And Jackie, at that time, I hadn't fully embraced the fact that I was in the hot tub business, and I literally told him, "What part of our parent company is Masco Corporation?" So I said to this guy, "I said, well." We're part of a, a home products giant that, that sells products like uh, Henry Don, Brasscraft, Thermador, Marilot, Delta Faucets. What did that really reflect? Jackie, it reflected that I had yet to really have a settled heart about what I do for a living. 
And here's the key, Jackie, the reason you do all the things you do, in my opinion, is your heart's been settled a long time now that your job is to help impact and improve the lives of people. Therefore, it, you know, when people ask you what you do now, it's, it's so far away from selling hot tubs. It's, it's, it's helping people to feel good and live well. And I got to tell you, when that clicks, and it clicked not long after, doesn't it change, Jackie, how you approach your work and, and why in the world you do the things that you've done to serve people in this industry? Yes, it, it does. I mean, thank you. Uh, but you're, you're right. I mean, that's exactly once you figure out that this product is a life-changing mm. product. I mean, it's – I know what it does for me. I know when I get up in the morning – and I'm aching and, you know, I, I, I'm not going to lie. When I first started selling them, I was back in the, you know, back in the late eighties, early nineties, sure. it was about the party. I mean, you, you, yeah. you want to get this because it, it's, it makes you a social person and I am a yeah. social person. So for me, that was an easy transition, but yeah. it's always been about what it's going to do for you, yeah. not what you have. I mean, even, <laughs> even back then it's, what does it do for you? What it does for you back oh. then? was makes you social. And, yeah. you know, as time has gone and as I've gotten older and as I've got knee problems and back problems mm. and, and all the things, it's even more ab about that. And yeah. everybody in, in the industry with us, and, you, and you've done it with yeah. us, is we've all grown up together. And we've, yeah. we've, we've all, all of us have, I mean, it was such a young industry way back then. Yeah. And, yeah. And we've we've all come so far and how important it is and how we could not live without our hot tubs. Yeah. yeah. No, that's absolutely true. Uh, you know, speaking of not living without your hot tub. So I had this I had this uh, minor surgery. By the way, minor surgery is any surgery that happens to somebody else, right? right. So I had this minor surgery uh, about a month ago. And Jackie, the worst part of my sentence of having the surgery was no hot tub for two weeks. And I go, dude, are you serious? And he goes, serious, not in the hot tub. So you know what it was, Jackie? It was one of the best lessons for me to realize and recognize that, you know what? Most people live dry and you're built to live dry. You're built to live wet. Literally, your body's made of water. And when you're immersed regularly on a daily basis in water, everything is better uh, from, from, from sleep to, 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 to wellness, to, to uh, immune systems, all this stuff. And I got to tell you, my first soak back, Jackie, I go, we had the old ceremony and there's like toast, cheers. Here we go. Back in hot water. Right. I missed it so much. Uh, and only see only people that own hot tubs understand that that really use them get it. That's that's awesome. And it was only two weeks for you. I mean, yeah. a lot of a lot of people, you know, when I have to have my knee surgery, I'm out for six, and I <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I, I I don't know how I'm going to do yeah. six weeks without a hot tub. Yeah. Um, yep. Well, you know, and, and actually, Jackie, you'll probably you'll probably soak your your, your other leg is what you'll probably do. You'll probably find other 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 things to do. But uh, bless you. When is your when do you have to do that? Uh, actually, it'll be the day after California. Um, so be oh, January 23rd uh, is okay. when I have the first one done and then I'll have the second one done pro probably bless end you. of February, bless beginning you. of March. Yep. So. Well, there's nothing like going through something like that that gives you even further empathy for all the people you serve, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, I'm excited to get it done. I'm excited to, to be recovered and be back back to my 100% yeah, self. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I know the yeah. hot tub's going to be part of that part of that journey journey as well. You know what's funny about hot tubs, and, and, and Jackie, I don't know whether the group that perhaps would would listen to this relates to this, but very few of us have really great friends anymore. Yes, we have some friends, but very few really close friends. And what I, my wife and I were talking about this and what's a great friend? A friend is a friend that has no judgment, that meets you right where you are, that always accepts you regardless of foibles, ups, downs, cheerful, sad, and, they, and they're just with you. And Jackie, I was sitting in the hot tub the other day and I go, you know, I know this is, look, I get it. I'm warped, right? But the idea is what better friend could there be than water? that meets you where you are and no matter where you are leaves you better than when you came into it because of all the physiological benefits the mental benefits and on and on and on but uh so it's a great business to be in jackie <laughs> it's it's an amazing business to be in and, and you are so right with that i mean and one of the reasons for that i, I mean 
I think you said it best the other day. You said something to the fact that's the only place I'm not responsible for anything. When, I, when yeah. I'm sitting in my hot tub, yeah. I, it's the only place that, I, that I'm not responsible for anything, which is totally awesome. And I totally agree with them. This morning I was in mine and, and I was, it was later than I should have been, but I was like, yeah, it is, it is my day off. It's Monday is yeah. YouTube day. So I'll, I'll run a few minutes late and it was so worth it. Yeah. And it was just, I felt so good. Yeah. How many plates are you spinning, lady? Look, you, you've got full time. Look, and I, I think this is true for all of us. Think about the number of plates we got spinning in our life. Here, here, you've made it in, immensely more complex. You have family that you love dearly, that you care for. You have things in the community that you're very deeply involved with. You have teammates that you are as close as family with that you work with. You've done things at a level in your profession of sales that is top notch, let alone add a podcast, add a book, add all these things. And there's only one place, as we were talking about, that you can escape to, and that's water, where literally, look, you can't be responsible for what happens there, Jackie. It literally does all the work for you, right? You just have to show up, and the water is the one that's doing all the restoration. It's, yeah. You, <laughs> You're good, I'm telling you. <laughs> yes. Well, you know what, Jackie? I got to swerve to something real quick. Has a dog ever been on your show before? A dog? Yeah. Uh, no, I have not had any dogs on the show yet. Well, my dog's about to be on the show because he wants to go out. His name is Eugene. Eugene, off you go, buddy. Tally ho, bud. Come back when you're ready. That's so, so cool. My apologies for that, but if we don't take care of that, he will scratch until we're we're we're, we're in trouble he's, here. He's great. So and <laughs> it's hey, we're 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 an easy going show here. Everybody loves it. All the. Uh, all the uh, listeners think, think it's great. And we just, you know, whatever happens, happens. So speaking of yeah. that, let's stop in and say hello to everybody. Uh, we've got uh, Frank says, wow, great to have Scott on your show. Yes, it hey, is. Hey, Frank. <laughs> thrilled good thrilled good to have good that. Good. And then we got Brenda Logan. Hey, Brenda, welcome to the show. We've had our hot tub for a little over two years and cur currently can't imagine living without one. Way to go, Brenda. Brenda, I just want to encourage you on something real quick. You know, Brenda, I know you're using it a lot. And, and Jackie, is it okay to share something on this? Yes. Brenda, because you use it, you establish a routine. And by the way, the number one reason why people don't use hot tubs is they lack a regular routine. And I got to encourage those of you out there that are hit and miss. I'm going to encourage you to put yourself inside your own day timer where you set a calendar, a reminder on your on your uh, windows calendar it's 9 30 it should ding and you should get in the water um good job for having a routine that's awesome scott that is i mean and it, if that's some one message that i can get across to people is it is you you can't it's more important than watching the tv it's more important than watching the news it's more important mm. than than all the things and and my husband, he's, 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 he's loves to work out. He works out every morning. He makes sure he does it. I need to work out more. I know this, but I, he gets up and works out. I go, we'll sit in the hot tub. That's, those are the two things that happen every morning at our house. So great routines. So, and then we've got, uh, Kayla, she says, she's got a good question for you, Scott. Scott, hey, what is your favorite thing about soaking in a hot tub? Oh my goodness, it's not even close. It's, it's actually that every day, Kayla, I experience something completely new. Uh, so I'll give you some, you know, I don't know any other place like this. Does anybody relate with going camping? If you relate to going camping, here's what happens. Food tastes unbelievably better, Kayla. The air is always fresher. The connections are always better, right? So when I'm sitting in my hot tub, I can tell you right now, I'm gonna give you three experiences I've had that I never would have had if I wasn't in my hot tub. For example, just this week, I was sitting there and this little bird hops out of the bush by my, by my hot tub. And Kayla, it stares me down and literally sings a solo just for me, looking right at me, singing the most beautiful song. How about this one that just doesn't happen unless you're in a hot tub? I was sitting there early one morning. I get in about 5.30 is my routine. And I saw this brighter than bright satellite. And I go, something's wrong with this. This is too bright. And so, Jackie, I pull up my app and I realize it's the International Space Station. There were little humans 
up there, however many miles above the sky, jetting across at this umpteen bazillion thousand miles an hour. And I was watching them. And I might have been the only person on earth who saw them other than their bosses at that moment. Let me give you another one, Kayla. Sorry, this is more than you wanted. But this one, I'll promise you, I'll challenge anybody to experience this. I was sitting there at like 5.15 in the morning once, uh, early in winter, back in like 2018. Jackie, I saw what freaked me out was a string of 60 bright lights going. Whoosh. I'm not joking. I go, I thought we were being invaded because it was, you know what it was? SpaceX launched 60 satellites and they were all strung together. And I promise you, I never would have seen that. It was, I had to, I was actually, I Googled it real quick to make sure we weren't dying, right? right. And it was SpaceX had launched these 60 satellites. So Kayla, my favorite part is every day, every day, wake up like a baby duck and go, something's going to be new today. Something's fresh today. That's what I love. That is fantastic. And okay, so I'm going to add to your story a little bit. So the, the 60 satellites, yeah, uh, it was late in the evening for us. And we were actually in the hot tub and we were like, what the heck is that? Because we saw it. You know, we're in South Dakota. We saw it. And Frank, Frank is, he's listening and I know he's, he's with me, but we were in the hot tub. I'm like, what is that? And he's like, no, no. And we did, we thought we were, were like, is it, is it aliens? What is it? Yeah. What do you do? Hey, Jackie, you know what, you know, I've learned, this is what I've learned. You can never, de- Kayla, this is back to you. You can never determine when you're going to have a great magical memory. You can only predetermine if you're going to have a place that regularly creates memories. Hot tubs create memories like no other space in your home. Why? Because it opens you up to a bigger sphere of opportunity. The wall- because it opens you up to a bigger sphere of opportunity. The walls of your home are designed to protect you, to close you in, to keep you. Guess what hot tubs are designed to do? To not look down like we do 90% of our day, mm-hmm. but to look up, to be in awe, to be in wonder. If you haven't played the cloud game with your kids, shoot with your significant other. That looks like whatever it, it, it brings you to live that's what it does i'm so glad you saw that jackie frank way to go buddy we're part of a three three club <laughs> <laughs> that is uh that's crazy because i i we still talk about it and but it you're right it does happen in the hot tub you you take the time to look at things that you would never take the time to look at mm, totally and it's totally it, that's crazy that because uh, we haven't ever had that conversation to have that right here is yeah is is pretty interesting and it was yeah it was about 2018 when that happened so so jackie i'm gonna throw down right now come on who says your favorite room in the house can't be not in the house who says your living room can't be full of water <laughs> who, who, who says who says you can't have the best windows you never wash the best heating and air conditioning you never heat i mean it's just it's, it's all ready it's just like yeah a lazy boy waiting for you <laughs> at all times. I, it, it for sure is our favorite room in the house. It's, it's where the best socialization happens. Our neighbors yep. come over uh, and, and they enjoy it with us. It's where Frank and I have our best conversations. Oh. It's, it's where my children come home to visit. And that's when I know we're going to have our, have the conversation that needs to be had that they really want to have. Yeah. That's all the things that's going to happen. The, all the best ideas happen yeah. in the hot tub. I can Why tell you. is that? Why is it? And yet it's predictable. It is. It's true. It, you, you, and you know, you know why this, you know, people go, so yeah, I have my best ideas in the shower. Well, come on, dude, there's science behind this. And, and people think it's like amazing. Like it's this magic. No, it's not. It's hot water. What, what happens is hot water has a way of rebalancing our nervous system so that we can think more clearly cognitively. We're sharper. We're crisper. By the way, Jackie, when you said got to have the conversations we need to have with your kids. I'm going to promise you something, parents. And I've raised four and I'm still in the process. My youngest is 22. It doesn't get easier. It gets harder, by the way, right? Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. it, 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 and it gives you a space where everybody is chill mm-hmm. and a time and an area that just tends to bring out the best. Mom told me this recently the other day. She said, it's truth serum for my kids. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Right. Um, it's, 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 it's true. Another mom, another mom said this, Jackie, we're both past these days, but she said, I have my kids soak when they get home because it washes the junior high off them. 
that's good. I never thought of that one. And I needed that back then. <laughs> I, I needed to watch the junior high off. Oh gosh. I needed that for my kids a lot. That That's oh, a good one. But it's, yeah. I, it's, it's such, it's such a magical place. A, a hot tub is just so where you want to be and where you need to be. And the thought of not having one is just absolutely terrifying to me. I, yeah. I, the thought if there would never be one in my backyard, there's, I mean, I've yeah. had one for 30 years. Yeah, me too. And, yeah. you know, there's been little windows at times where there was a week or two that I, you know, I was waiting for a new one or something like that, yeah. or I was gone and didn't get to use yeah. it. And when, when you're on a trip, you can't wait to get home, home to get back in your hot tub. And that's one of the most amazing things. But the thought of not being able to have one and, you know, when we get the yeah. customers that come in and they're like, gosh, I haven't had one for six years. I'm sure. I mean, I literally stop and I'm like, okay, wait, time out. Mm. How have you not had a hot tub for six years? Right. Right. And, well, and you know what? Here's the thing, Jackie, people are tough and we learn to live without stuff. I'm going to make an argument right here that, that what's easy to do is also easy not to do. It's easy to have a hot tub and not use it because the busyness of life and all these things. And here's the sad thing. My mama says this and she's, well, here's the, here's the bottom line. Mama says this, your body, like it or not, keeps perfect score. You, you can't fool it. You, you, yeah, you're sleeping less. Guess what? The body's scoring it. You're not. Oh, yes. You're walking tighter, stiffer. Guess what? Your body's keeping track. In fact, the wear that you're doing prematurely because of certain tightness, et cetera. Oh, it's, it's uh, Jackie, we just, we got to get, we got to get more people. And I encourage you, Kayla, as a user, you, you got to spread the word to people you know, that aren't in this stuff because it can make a difference for people, how people live. Yeah. It's, you know, I, I made that decision probably about 10 years ago is, is when I decided that uh, it'd probably about be about the time that, that Watkins wellness decided that health, health is what, what these hot tubs are about. And it, it changed everything. It, when yeah. I decided that this was a wellness machine, and, yeah. you know, Vince says it best. I've talked to him a lot yeah. the last couple of days. And he's like, I stopped selling hot t hot tubs and start sell started selling um, wellness. And he led that whole charge. Yes, he did. He influenced us tremendously. Yeah. And and there's no way I could go back. I couldn't go back yep. to selling that box of water that squirts. I, I couldn't. It's <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, you know, I tell you, it's a, uh, yeah. It's, it's a great thing. And you know what I'm grateful for? I'm grateful for people uh, just like you who are so committed to making sure that people use it. And by the way, look, I, I don't know if anybody on this call has written a book before. I certainly haven't. And I got to tell you, it takes more time, more effort, more energy, more money, more everything than you ever imagined. And Jackie, yet you tackled that. And I know why you did it. You, you did it so that more people could really experience the fullness and the benefit of hot water in their life. By the way, how, how was that journey? How was that journey for you putting that thing together? Uh, it's, it was long. Uh, <laughs> and it was a way, way, way bigger project than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I've got it right here and it's doing incredibly well. Thank you for everybody listening. It's, it's been a number one bestseller and it's just doing absolutely awesome. And why I'm, I did uh, just release the log books. So these are great. Too. Um, so those of you that are really struggling and know what to do every day, I mean, these tell you every single day what you need to do. So, and I've got them for all three. I've got them for yeah. salt. I got them for frog and I have them for chlorine. So all three, all three of those are out there. Um, and every single piece of that was such a project and, but I loved it. I, I, I loved how it went. And, and like I was telling you before the show that, where this started and where this ended is mm. two completely different things. Where, where it Tell started me what, you mean by that. what was that? Tell me what you mean by that. That's fascinating. Well, where it started was, is this was just going to really kind of just be a sales piece. This was just yeah. going to be something that, you know, when you walked in the store, I was going to hand it to you and you were going to remember who I was. You were going to be the gal. You were the salesperson that actually handed me a book. That's, right. that's how this started. And the more I got into it and the more I was just coming up with the outline and writing this stuff out and researching what else was out there and who, who else yeah. I could, you know, kind of, 
I didn't want to reinvent the wheel if it was already out there. I was just going to steal yeah. it. <laughs> that was that was the original plan, and there's nothing out there. There yeah. wasn't there wasn't anything out there, and and it's and if it was out there, it was written for it was written for me. It was written yeah. for the the retailer. It was written for the person who already knows yeah. what they're talking about, and yeah. it's such a you know it, it's it's such high level chemistry that nobody wants to know that. They, wow. want enjoy, yeah. they want to enjoy the hot tub. They want they yeah. want it to be easy as possible, and they want it to be a really great experience. That's what they want. And the more I got into it, I'm like, we need this. We got to do this. Yeah. We got to have. I just want it to be a really good experience, and I yeah. want people to. I want them to become ambassadors. I want them to say this is yeah. the best thing I ever bought. Just like just like I am, and yeah. I have so many customers that do think that way. Yeah. But it's because they figured out how to run their hot tubs, and if I can help more people run their hot tubs, then Mm -hmm. then we're great. So yeah, and it's it was a big project. I mean, you know, like I was telling you earlier, I'm not I'm not a writer, and so I had to learn. Oh, you're a terrific writer. (laughs) This this book is amazing. (laughs) Well, thank you. But I mean, I need I had a lot of help. I mean, I had a lot of editors. I mean, I had four different rounds of editing and an illustrator and a book designer or a book cover designer and it adds up and time so much time yeah. and, and my husband Frank bless his heart you know I'd get up at 4 30 or 5 and go out go in the come here in the office and work on it and yeah. he'd come stru- stumble in at six o'clock and bring me a cup of coffee and start making breakfast mm-hmm. and he's like again you know and then then I'd go then I'd be wiped out and go to bed at nine o'clock at night and start yeah. all over again but it was a project, but I I'm so happy with it, and I am I am very proud of it. And yeah. everybody has been fantastic as far as so the sports support has been absolutely amazing. So well, Jackie, I'm sure the recognition is coming if it hasn't already, because you you said it. There is a gap there. Uh, I'm sure the market has responded very positively. Yeah, it it really has, and I did. Uh, there there was an award that I got last night that I was just totally come on, tell us. To- totally shocked. Uh, it was the um, American Writing Award. It's an actual book award that, yeah, I I was not expecting that at all. So uh, I got hit with got that yesterday. So thank you. That was, um, I just wanted to sell 10 copies. That's all I really yeah. wanted to do. So yeah. it's been, it's been a good deal. And, and again, the, the industry has just been a huge support and, and my listeners and, and my followers have been absolutely amazing. So but well done. We you. are grateful. We are so grateful. I, I still stand by my statement. You've done single-handedly more for this industry than perhaps most of us from the manufacturing side, because you've always went, Jackie, where people live. You've gone to the direct uh, participant in this whole grand experiment, <laughs> right? The people that own the hot tubs. And it's, yeah, thank you. Well, I'm going to say thank you because you've taught me along the way. If it, if it wasn't for you to teach me how to do it correctly, I, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. Well, thank you. We're, we're grateful to be in the doing life, lady, doing life together. So yes, how this rolls. So, well, let me check in with a couple more uh, comments here. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, Kent Wentworth. Welcome to the, the stream, Kent. Or Chris, I'm sorry, Chris Wentworth. New hot tub owner here. Just got ours less than a month ago. Okay. So we have rules here, Scott. When somebody shows up with a new hot tub, we, we do a cut. They get a little little party celebration. So they get I'm some looking confetti. Forward to this. And is the confetti coming? Oh, we got to have confetti. If we don't have confetti, we're going to do confetti. <laughs> this is so great. Oh, the confetti's not working, but we got to. <laughs> I do know what I'm doing, Chris. I'm celebrating. I'm having a party for you. We are. Uh, there's your air. <laughs> and there's your confetti. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much. And, and uh, tell us what you got. Tell us how much you're loving it. We're, we're super, super excited for you. And yeah. let's see. Chris, you know, one thing about having a hot tub, routine is number one. The, the second thing is make sure to have clear reasons to use it. You know, it's funny, if you think to Jackie's point, it's it's about having just a, a cool thing in your backyard. And I know you don't, you know, it's more than that. Uh, really, the reason that so many people get this is one thing, but the reason that keeps them going back time and time again, it's usually what you discover 
through frequent use. Wow, that impacts, that impacts, that was better. So what I'm recommending is this, if you haven't soaked for seven consecutive days straight without a miss, you will know the difference after seven days straight of some more reasons why you love to soak. <laughs> right. And um, what, one of my favorite things in, is the 30 day soap challenge. Yeah. And the, the so seven good. days are great, but the 30 day soap challenge is, is magical. I mean, yeah, well, it, you're way in by then you are all in, you are definitely all the way in on that. And yeah. it's, <laughs> it's just absolutely incredible when you do that. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this in February this year with the knee surgery, but um, mm -hmm. Scott or uh, Frank might be helping me out more than he wants to, but we might be recording, recording him. So that's yeah. awesome. And then Kayla says hot tubs are, are full of magical moments. Jackie and I've had some of our best conversations in the hot tub. My husband Way and I even, even discussed Way maybe go. names in there. <laughs> oh, that's great. And then uh, she also adds soaking, soaking lifts the weight off the skyscrapers off your, the weight of the skyscrapers off your body. I hear oh that every, I hear, let's see, soaking lifts the skyscrapers off your body. I hear every day in one of our videos from you, Scott. That's oh awesome. my goodness. That's a, that's a wild thing. By the way, trivia question. So field trips are expensive these days. And uh, where do you go to be in a space that is lighter than you are on the moon? Well, you know the answer, obviously, your hot tub. Isn't it funny, though, to think you can actually take your kids? We used to do this, Jackie. This is so ridiculous. I'd have my kids. Okay, kids, guess what? We are now on the moon. So here we go. We're now light. And <laughs> we'd have them floating around. But it's just, it's just so much fun you get to have because of this place. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And, and when they're little like that and... And when they're yep. looking at the colors on the lights and they're like, yellow, green, Oh my goodness. Blue. Jackie, you know what? I'll tell you one of my favorite memories of my entire hot tubbing career. And that's saying something for 30 some plus 35 years is I came home from a road trip. I, my, my flight was canceled. My flight then had a mechanical. By the time I got into San Diego, it was like way after the airport should have even you know got there. So I'm rolling home at 2 a.m. I get there. I go, first thing I'm doing, I'm sitting in the hot tub. And literally, I hear the, 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 the sliding door, Jackie, go a little click. And I look over there, and there's this little tiny blonde head. A little five-year-old girl pokes her head out with this little droopy swimsuit and goes, Dad, is that you? <laughs> it's two in the morning. It's complete black. And I go, honey, it better be me. <laughs> right? <laughs> and she's like, she, can I come in? I said, sure, honey, come on. Jackie, that was a night that my daughter, now 22, we talk about as a point of reference all the time. We renamed Orion's belt, Bob, Larry, and Tom. We watched satellites, we told dad jokes, we had an amazing night that will never be duplicated in all my years of parenting because there was a moment that was magic and we were in this space that no one would ever be in. You'd never sit in your backyard at two in the morning but it was 102 degrees over our shoulders. Our hair was crisp and cold. The air was fresh. The night was black. The stars were vivid. It's funny, I asked her, I, oh, true story, Jackie. She came here this morning, this morning. She said, dad, my 22 year old, dad, I'm here to use the amenities. <laughs> You're in a hot tub. Look, I can't tell you how excited I am for those of you that have families or are just gonna be adding just amazing memories to your life especially as you enter through the holiday periods here, go through Christmas. How about the big frozen tundra of January, February, when everybody else is hating life and you're going, I was built for this. I was born for this. I, mm -hmm. I'm in the best place on earth. So golly, Jackie, it's a worthy cause. It, it, it is a worthy cause. So we've, we've got a pretty active chat here. So we're going to, um, I'm not sure what, what, Cody says there, we'll let that go. Uh, Kyle says, hey, Kyle. nice job on the award. Thank you, Kyle. Tell Scott hi for me and thanks both of you for your impact on the hot tub industry and all you do and how awesome you both are. Aww. Thank you, Kyle. Good job to you, man. Okay, Chris, the, she's our brand new hot tub owner, Chris Wentworth. How Chris, long yeah. do you soak in your hot tub? You know what? Great question. And, and you know what? I let my body tell me. <laughs> Here's what's wild. So I know this is not the, I'll give you the answer you're looking for. My morning routine is usually about 20 to 30 minutes. 
but I usually, the, the key is to let my body tell me. One thing I wanna, wanna make sure it's really clear about hot water, those of you that are getting used to it. Water, we're made of it. And our bodies respond to it in unbelievably unique and special ways, depending on where we are at in our day. Did you realize that science will show you that most people, Jackie, don't wake up fully until about 9.30 to 10.30 in the morning. Their body doesn't hit the rhythm. But did you realize by soaking in hot water, it jump starts your body? I'll walk out there, Jackie. I don't care how, look, I'll, I'll be out there at 3.15 in the morning because I know I build that in pre-flight days. When I'm traveling around the country, I'll build it in. I will be in my hot tub 3.15 in the morning. Watch what happens. After a little period of time, I can't explain it, but my eyes will go boop mm -hmm. because of the amount of improved circulation through my body. It literally wakes me up and brings me to vibrance sooner. So, so just to say that, because at nighttime, watch this, I'm a much shorter soaker. I'm a much shorter soaker because what happens is soaking and going to sleep is critical for those of you that, that want to sleep better. By the way, when going to bed and going to sleep is not even in the same barrel of monkeys because going to bed doesn't mean you're going to sleep. Why don't we sleep? It's often because of a very busy mind. Look, your body's tired, but your brain it's been wired to run so hard and fast today that you just can't sleep yet. So what does hot water do? So to, to answer the question, I will soak until I feel like I've washed the stress of my day away. When I can look to the stars and look at the clouds and reflect and go, what a day, what a, what a day. Yeah, things didn't go perfectly, but you know what? I'm grateful, I'm gonna live to fight another day. Guess what? I'm ready to go inside. I can tell you I've soaked longer, sometimes shorter, but uh, sorry, I let the hot tub tell me. <laughs> well, and that's great, Scott. That's absolutely amazing. I'm, and I'm actually the opposite. I, I, I am a twice a day user. Uh, in the morning, I'm usually yeah, 15, 20 minutes. I, I, I hit two clean cycles is what I do. And, so it, and it's for a, and that's just for a timer because otherwise I'd stay out there all morning. Otherwise <laughs> I'd be out there for, for a couple hours. Um, but it's the same thing. You get going, you get ready to roll. and our sales floor is actually concrete in the day, mornings. Mm -hmm. I don't use it. Oh man. Mm -hmm. By two o'clock in the afternoon, I know I wasn't in that hot tub when I started my day. Mm -hmm. So that's a big deal. But in the evenings, I like to, I like to go for a half hour to 45 minutes and just, nice. and that's usually when Frank goes with me too. And I think that that's the reason I like to stay longer and the conversations are better, but mm -hmm. it's, you know, cause in the morning I'm usually by myself, but in the evenings it's usually the both of us. Awesome. And, it's just, it's where the connections are, but yeah. you know, Chris, it's, it's use it as much as you want to. I mean, and, but I, I'm a daily user and I know Scott's a daily yeah. user and yeah. uh, th there's so many of us that are daily users. And when you make it part of your routine, like you were saying earlier, yeah, it's life changing. It really truly is. So, yeah. Yeah. and then she says, uh, she also wants to know, is there a minimum to have the most impact? Oh, great question. You know, and I'm not a I'm not a medical expert, of course. One thing I've done though is make good friends with medical experts. I tell you, one of my favorite is Dr. Bruce Becker, Washington State University, University of Washington. Unbelievable man, uh, a true gentleman. And what he found is typically after about 15 to 20 minutes, a lot of goodness starts happening. First thing he says, though, by the way, is isn't it interesting? There's over a thousand languages spoken around the the, the big globe, and yet there's only one utterance that comes out of every mouth, man, woman, boy, and girl, when soaked in hot water. It's just, ah. It but after about 15 to 20 minutes, there's the time frame. What happens is you're going to find that your body tends to be down-regulating, meaning your nervous system comes into balance. He found that to be pretty predictable uh, at about, about 20, 20 minutes. Here's the crazy part though. When you soak in hot water, water's dang near magic because it transfers heat. 25 times faster than just being in a room of air. So watch this, you're in warm water. If you can get in water for five minutes, you will jumpstart your circulation almost immediately, right? Meaning this, because at 104 degrees, 103 degrees, your circulation will improve by 121%. And what that's causing is all the good to get in, all the bad to get out. Uh, so even if you got five minutes, invest it in yourself in hot water. Got more time? You just get compounding benefits the longer you soak. 
talk more about the compounding benefits. I, I try to explain that, but I'm not as eloquent as you are when it comes to Oh, that. and I'm not eloquent. I, I just, and people, please forgive me because I, I'm certainly not a, a, a medical professional, but I just, I study this because I'm living proof of how this can change us. And, and I know we've talked about what this does compounding. Did you realize Dr. Becker shared this with me in one of our conversations? So Scott, the body is a learning machine, meaning the more frequently you soak, the more it falls into line about rebalancing the nervous system back to where it should be. See, here's the problem. The problem is this, most of us, oh, Jackie, I'll tell the story. So I was signing in to Jackie's podcast today and I couldn't get the technology to work. So I had to drive home to, you know, to race, to get here in time. And I look, the cortisol levels were like through the roof for me because I don't want to let Jackie down, right? Here's the crazy part. That's what it's like in everyday life. But guess what? I soak in hot water because my body knows how to respond and downregulate. It won't take long for me to just fall back into that state of balance where I have better cognitive abilities, where I have actually allowed my, my, my main organs in your body. Did you realize, this is funny. So Dr. Becker says, look, Scott, when you are in fight or flight, it doesn't matter if, uh, well, he says this, He's, <laughs> he says, if a bear's chasing you, you wanna outrun it. It doesn't care if it dig you digest your pizza, if that makes sense. Your stomach doesn't work very well. A lot of key things, you can't make a clear decision to save your life, you just wanna run. See, what, what, what happens compounding is the more you soak, the easier it gets to come to the state of balance, the easier it is to have your organs and everything functioning in the optimal manner. So, Jackie, not very uh, articulate to your lead in, but... No, that was very articulate. <laughs> you know who says it best is, uh, is Albert Einstein. He says, the eighth wonder of the world is compound interest. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Compound interest, every day you soak, Please don't miss this. Every day you soak, you made a deposit. And, and Jackie, I'll, I'll say this in a way that hopefully people won't be offended, but there is no way to stop aging. There is only a way to accelerate it. Does everybody hear that? You can only accelerate it. And the way we accelerate it is living out of balance in fight or flight. Your body keeps perfect score. It's taking quite a toll on you. Yeah, you're tough. Yeah, you can muscle through. But compound interest works positive and negative, if that makes sense, Jackie. It does. So the more, and, and look, lady, I, I, my, I'm so grateful that all the things you're doing right now, all the things you're carrying, I'm so glad that your nervous system is actually at least twice a day coming back to a state where everything can work optimally. Imagine a family that doesn't. Imagine a family, imagine a kid in junior high right now with the pressures of junior high. Are you kidding me? It's mm -hmm. tougher than ever. And they don't have a space to actually come back to balance. Yeah, this is this is bigger stuff. By the way, here you go. I know you've, I've heard this from Vince say this. I was just in Atlanta. Atlanta, the Center for Disease Control says, between 80 and 90% of illness, gosh, Jackie, it's just because we're living in prolonged states of fight or flight our bodies weren't built for. Water's natural, it's gentle, and it brings us right back to where we're meant to be. And just to repeat that, you said 80% of illness. That was one of their articles. Yeah, because up to 80% of illness were... and disease. Yeah, it's because it's because we're closed out. See, here's the thing. Circulation is the magic elixir. Because when a cell is closed down, it can't get the good in. Meaning it can't get the bad out. That's where a problem happens. So when you immerse yourself in a machine that's 25 times faster at introducing warmth, Circulation explodes 121% throughout the 60,000 miles of veins, arteries, capillaries, throughout your body, bringing good in, bad out, balancing. I mean, come on, how could you not be better? And you are. It's just no one knew it, Jackie. When we started selling, we sold parts and pieces. Now we understand there's a reason behind that word, ah, because something good is happening every time. It, 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 yes, something something great is happening every time, and mm. it's you know I, I I challenge my husband. I I'm like I bet you can't get in and not say ah, and he's like, <laughs> and you it, can't. It's a game with you us would, at this point. Where to go, Frank? Yeah. And uh, it's it's a game, and it's like can you do it? And we we won't talk to each other because we know we can't not do it. And so we'll we'll sit in, and it never fails. I mean, within two minutes, we're just like. 
I'm like, you said it. <laughs> it's, but it, it's actually a game between us because we're, mm-hmm. we're just, because we know we can't. Yeah. And, and we've physically tried not to say it. We've tried mm. not to say, ah, and you just, you just can't, especially when it's cold out. Yeah. I get it. It's, it's Jackie, can I ask you a question? Look, and I hope this is okay. I mean, being real is really what we've found to, to be the most powerful language and your knees are hurting They're lady. Hurting. I, I'm really, I am curious. What does it really feel like for you when you do finish a day and you've been on the cement and you drive an hour and a half, my friend, that ain't good for your knees either. Right. Right. Talk to, talk to, I want to know, what is it like when you do finally hit the finish line Um, in hot water? What do you experience? So, and sometimes it's only for that 15, 20 minutes, 45 minutes that I'm in the water. The pain is gone for the time I'm in the water. It's, Mm. it is a hundred percent. I'm, And that's, even when I wasn't in pain, I always loved being in the water for that reason, because everything that ailed you, you know, the the lactic acid Mm -hmm. in your shoulders and and all Mm -hmm. of that, it just goes away. But for, I mean, I, I have to get in the hot tub. I absolutely Mm -hmm. have to get in the hot tub. And when it's really cold out, it's, it's a little harder because, because that cold is what's killing my knees. And Ah. so the, Getting over that hot tub is is tough, and and I'll tell you, I wasn't able to to go swimming very much this year because we have an above ground mm-hmm. pool, and I wasn't able to get mm-hmm. in it, and I miss that. Mm-hmm. And uh, but the second you get in there, and the mm-hmm. second I get sat down, mm-hmm. that pain is gone, mm-hmm. and usually gone for you know a good forty five minutes afterwards. Mm-hmm. But I know that I have that relief for that amount of time every single day. I mean, seriously, Jackie, chronic pain is a fill in the swear word here. It's it's a bugger and it steals so much more than just you know what it steals. It steals hope. Yep. And here's here's the common ingredient for people that are chronic pain, for people that struggle with arthritis and severe arthritis. You know what they do? They they do find that 45 minutes, that hour, three times a day where they can actually move and they can feel and they can be relieved so they can go back and fight again. And Jackie, that is just, that's incredibly valuable. You remove those segments and you create someone who actually loses hope. And then more importantly, limits life. Here, I'm gonna, can I give you something real quick about life? Here's what I'm learning. Age is no longer chronological. And I'm gonna promise you this, it ain't chronological. Age is based on three things. It's based on range of motion. Mm-hmm. It's based on speed of recovery. But watch this. It's also based on state of mind. If your state of mind is such that I'm giving up, you are checked out of life and living much older than the number on your driver's license. But if you feel like I can, I can get some recovery. I can move a little better. You do what you need to do. My wife said this to me the other night. She said, honey, look, I get wound up and I get focused and I focus in and work on stuff. She said, honey, remember to live. Remember to live. And what she meant by that was, take a breath. There's a space you can go to where you can be refreshed, restored. And you can go back and go at this thing again from a fresh perspective. Jackie, I appreciate you sharing your your world. That's tough and real. It is. And, you know, you hit so many nerves right there when you were just talking about the the state of mind and the Mm. the the aging thing and and Mm. i can tell you i've i my husband can tell you i can tell you and and we both have the last year two years we've we've aged a lot i mean and it's just been many things that that have caused that and and in fact we saw somebody showed us a picture from four years ago and it was it was Mm -hmm. four friends of uh, four of our us and our neighbors and we hung out all the time and all four of us aged mm-hmm. incredibly in the last four years. I mean, it, I don't think I've ever seen so much aging in such a short amount of time. But there's mm-hmm. so much that goes to that. I mean, the stress, everybody knows how high, high the stress has been for the last mm-hmm. last so many years. And, you know, you, you did hit that, and that is, it does slow it down. It does give you that thing to look, look forward to at the end of the day. And yeah. like you said, it does allow you to recover for just, even if it's just a um, tiny little bit every day, 
it gives you that relief for that little bit of a day. And when it's chronic pain, yep. it's tough. And Jackie, I've got good news heading for you uh, coming because you're going to get that work done on your knees. And guess what? You're not only going to find Dr. Brecker just Becker is so uh, much of an advocate for this. He has done the research on this because he's a re rehabilitation specialist. And what he found was people that recover in water always recover faster than those who just recover just on dry land. Lady, when it comes time and you do do your time of your six weeks and you start that water movement, you're going to find yourself ahead of the curve and doing more than you were ever able to do before. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do any more. But... <laughs> hey, well, do the stuff you want to do, lady, right? Right. When you want to do it. And that's really what this is about, right? Without anything in the back of your head saying, oh, what if? or Isn't that this... a bugger? By the way, can I tell you something, Jackie? Um, you, does anybody else out there besides me have the little gremlin that lives on your shoulder that speaks really bad stuff to you? Mm -hmm. Jackie, I found out a truth. My gremlin can't swim. So I go get in the hot tub and bury that little dude underwater. And when I get him deep enough, guess what? I stop hearing his voice and start seeing what's up above me and seeing things that really matter. And I got to tell you, we got to bury the gremlin. He can't swim. She can't swim. Put him in water. That's awesome. That is, that is, that is awesome. You need, you need to market that one. <laughs> I'm living that. I don't care about marketing. I just want to, I just want to, you know what, Jackie, I want to live well and I want people around me to live well. And I think that's exactly why you have been such a breath of fresh air because you are doing things, Jackie, come on. This is, you've got a complicated life. You found a mission. You found a purpose that brings impact and improvement to people's lives. And lady, I just applaud you because you're going for it amidst hurt, amidst difficulty, and, and you're just making it happen. So I'm telling you, go hot tub lady, come on. <laughs> you're awesome, Scott. You you absolutely are. And this this isn't what I was expecting from you when I, when I brought you on the on the show today was to be a cheerleader, but you are doing, you're making me feel good, but you're also, you're explaining things the way they need to be explained. And that's why I wanted you on the show so bad because thank you. I'm grateful. You're, you're so good at just, you know, hit, hitting that point, but how much better your life is with, with this magical yeah. thing that's in your back backyard. Yeah. It's we overcomplicate it, Jackie. We overcomplicate it. Now, look, I want to tell you a story. I'm a little concerned about sharing the story. I'm going to share it anyway. I met a gentleman uh, from South Africa. He has been an adventure guide, high adventure guide for the last 30 years. Charming fellow, speaks with a great accent. And I got to talk with him. He's now in our business. He's our industry. And he is on fire with this particular category because he loves that this gives people unusual and incredible experiences. Does that make sense? Come on, he's an adventure guide that has thrived on taking people to the edge of great adventure through safari, through water, through balloon rides, to, to everything epic. So I wanna, I wanna share a quick story about this fellow's life. Part of becoming an adventure guide is means you have to master the particular hobby or sport. So he wanted to learn how to do high stakes kayak work. He went and watched on the shore of a very renowned place. I believe it was South Africa. Forgive me if I'm not exact on the geography. But the, the outlet was such that they would surf on top of this particular rapid that was by a large boulder that if you did it right, you could stay on top of the water and have an incredible experience. Well, he watched these people and it certainly didn't seem that difficult. The only problem, Jackie, is he came back and he went in when no one was there and he wondered, why is no one here? Well, he went in anyways, and he had some great experience of surfing on this only to find out that the water levels when it shifts, and by the way, isn't life like this? Life is like this. He got stuck and then was flipped. Well, that's not a problem because he was trained and he fought his way back and flipped up. And he did it about 10 to 12 times where he was unsuccessful getting out of this. It had held him. It had trapped him. And Jackie, he said this over dinner. He said, you know, Scott, what I learned, and forgive me, that's a bad accent. What I learned was sometimes you need to be comfortable being upside down. And I just released myself to being upside down. And I remembered what I was taught. 
When water is difficult to get out of, you must reach your paddle and find a space of calm water. Not the tearing rapid, but calm water. And once you reach calm water, you pull for all your life because it will remove you from the turbulence. Jackie, he had the presence to find calm water, pulled himself of what would have been a certain end of his life. And you know what hot tubs do? Hot tubs pull you from the rapids, from the life that is upside down, and you got to reach for the calm and pull yourself into it, even especially on the days that you don't feel like getting in. Because when you do that, what you'll find is, and we know, Jackie, we've had tens of thousands of people say the same thing. You don't get out like you got in. And that's what we're trying to do. Change how people live. Wow. That is that just a crazy adventure, man? What was that? He's just a crazy adventure man. Isn't that amazing though? Yes. Oof. Great story. I mean, that's that's a goosebump story. I mean, and it makes sense. We find calm water. That's all we're doing. Find calm water. Pull yourself out of it. You might be upside down, but not for long. Oh, that's awesome. And that's yeah. and and to equate that to a hot tub because that's what a hot tub does. Every it's day. Amazing. Yeah. It's... Every day. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for those that actually are watching this or, or listening in. I, I just, uh, it, I feel, I'm sorry if I, I'm yammering too much. We just want you to know how much we appreciate you as being part of a community and, and part of people that are loyal ambassadors to, to these products. And I just respect your decision to invest in you and your family so much. So I, I just applaud you. Good, good job. <laughs> Yes. So Scott, thank you so much. We are, uh, believe it or not, we're at an hour already. That, that went by really, really fast. Uh, any final thoughts that you want to throw out there? Or? Yes. 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 My sweet bride, Becky, reminds me of this quite often. Um, remember to live. Remember to live. In the midst of all the turbulence, remember to live. There's a lot of people that need your best self present for them at any given moment. So we got to start by taking care of ourselves so we can help others. Yeah. Jackie, proud of you. Thank you so much for the gift that, that you've given all of us. Well, thank you, Scott, for being on the show. And that was, that was a great show. And uh, for all you, all you listening and all, all you people listening on the podcast and everything, thank you so very much. And if you guys, you know, if, if you enjoyed this, make sure you give us a review today. We would absolutely love that. And the podcast is continuing to grow and do incredibly well. Uh, leave a comment. I will get back to you. Um, and I can forward anything on to Scott if anybody has any questions for him. We would absolutely love it. But you guys... You're absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for allowing us to help you become happy hot tubbers. We'll see you real soon.